Hey what's up, it's Chris from Rooker Films and in today's video I'm going to show you how to create this really awesome glitch text effect right inside of Adobe Photoshop. Now once you've got Adobe Photoshop open and you've got a brand new canvas created, we can begin by creating a brand new text. So we'll press the T icon on the very left of Photoshop, we'll select the canvas and we'll just type out anything that you want. So I'm gonna type out Brooker Films and then we'll change the color of this to white. And then I'm just gonna decrease the size of this to around 30 pixels and we'll center this up. Now from here, you want to copy this text layer. So you want to hold Command C on the text and then you want to press Command V to paste this and you want to paste this in three times, meaning we should have four copies of this text. Now we'll disable the very top text layer on the right hand side of Photoshop and then we'll move one text layer up and we'll move one text layer down. So you should see three different text layers. Now from here, we'll just go ahead and we'll press the T icon one more time and we'll tap the top text layer. Now select Command A on your keyboard to select all. We'll go up to the color window on the top bar of Photoshop and we'll change the color of this to red. Now we'll do the same for the middle text layer, but we'll change this to green. And then lastly, on the very bottom, we're going to change this to blue. So we've got our RGB, we've got our red, green, blue channels. Now we'll throw the blue on top of the green, make sure it's perfectly sitting directly on top. And then we'll throw the red on top as well. Now with that red layer selected, we'll press the normal button. So this is our blending modes tab. And we'll just change the blending mode from normal to screen. And we'll do the same for the second layer. And by doing this, you'll notice all of a sudden the text has gone white. So now with the middle text layer selected, you just want to nudge the position of this over to the right, just a very small amount. So we'll just press right on the keyboard a few times and you'll start to see that glitch effect happening. Now we'll do the same on the bottom. So select that text layer and we'll just press the up arrow on the keyboard a few times and that will move the position up. And then of course we can move the top layer one more time as well. Now, depending on how intense you want the glitch effect to be depends on whether you turn this layer on or off. It's completely up to you. But at the moment, we've got this really cool glitch effect. And if we turn the very top layer on, that was our white text, then you can see we've got a little bit of a glitch effect happening, but it isn't as predominant as without. So if you prefer it without, then don't turn this layer on. But if you prefer it with, then keep it on. But for now, I'm just going to keep this layer turned on. So we've got all of our text layers turned on. Now from here, we're going to select all four of those text layers. We'll right click on the keyboard and we'll go up to convert to smart object. And that's going to turn all of those text layers into one object. So this means if we move the position or we change the scale, they all change at the exact same time. So from here, we're going to go up to the rectangle mask tool and we're just going to draw a thin rectangle on the left hand side of the text. Now we'll hold command C on the keyboard and command V. And as you can see, that part of the text has been copied into its own layer. And we can move the position of this over to the right just a little bit to add a very nice glitch effect on the text. Now we're just going to keep repeating this process over and over again, making all of these really cool glitch effects. And as soon as you've completed this process, you've now successfully completed the glitch text effect right inside of Adobe Photoshop. It's really simple, but it's really awesome. And there you go. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in that comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe, check out the previous video, and I will see you tomorrow for another brand new video. See you there.